Good day to all of you engineers, and I'm back with Waltz, the Watch and Learn training system. This is the first and only in the Philippines where you can get solutions to problems that will be presented to you by me. I'm engineer Melvin Arceo, who will be uh, with you throughout the ESAT uh, topics. Okay, the mga questions sa ESAT try natin sagutan. Of course, sabi ko nga, meron din tayo sa ma, sa LX, and sa GS. Okay, so abangan nyo rin yun. Yung mga series na yun, na mga questions. And sabi ko nga, lagi namin sinasabi na ito ay para makatulong sa inyo, para kayo ay pumasa sa board exam, makamit ninyo yung desensya na pinaka-asam nating lahat. Okay? Kasi kami tapos na dyan. So, kayo naman ang inaalala namin na sana kayo rin maging license na ECE. Okay, so third topic na ito, or third uh, questions na ito, third question na isosolve natin. Okay, so start na tayo kagad. For the ESAT subject, the topic is amplitude modulation. The question is, for an envelope with Vmax of 30 uh, volts peak and a minimum Vmin, of 10 volts peak. What is the unmodulated carrier amplitude? So, tinatanong sa atin yung carrier amplitude na unmodulated. Okay? Ito yung given, Vmax and Vmin, 30 and 10 volts peak, respectively. Okay? May hinanda ako dito na, na illustration. Ito yung illustration ng envelope na tinutukoy niya. So, kapag ka yung information ay sumakay doon sa carrier, Ito yung nangyayari doon sa pagbabago ng carrier. Actually, ito na yung, yung change in amplitude of the carrier itself. Yung carrier, hindi ko na drinowing yung waveform ng carrier because it's uh, irrelevant in this um, problem. Okay? Now, this is what we call the AM envelope. We have the upper at saka yung lower envelope. Usually, tinatanggal na natin yung lower envelope pagdating sa receiver side because it's the same in uh, value pagdating doon sa upper envelope. So, yung lower, usually tinatanggal na or vice versa. It's only one envelope that is being used. Now, kapag ka yung carrier natin ay unmodulated, you will see a, a constant amplitude of the carrier. And this is the VC. Actually, ito yung pinapahanap sa atin, the unmodulated carrier amplitude. Okay? Now, Nagbabago yung amplitude ng carrier depende doon sa amplitude ng modulating signal. That amount of change in amplitude actually represents the modulating voltage. Okay? So, yung mataas na value niya at yung mababang value niya, both are Vm. And, of course, the lowest point for the carrier Pag nagbabago yung amplitude ng carrier, yung lowest point niya is what we call the minimum voltage. At yung highest point naman, tinatawag naman natin na maximum voltage. But we are asked, what is the unmodulated carrier amplitude? Okay? So ang gawin nyo, again, i-pause nyo yung video, try to solve it for yourself, and then pagka na-solve nyo na, balikan nyo ulit, and tingnan natin kung tama yung magiging sagot natin. Okay, so pause it right now. Okay, uh, balik na tayo. Nasolve nyo na ba? <laughs> Baka hindi nyo na naman pinos. Okay, okay lang. Kung gusto nyo makita na kaagad yung sagot, wala naman problema yan. Okay, so solve na natin kaagad yung problem na ito. Now, paano ba natin nakukuha muna yung Vmax? Vmax is equal to actually, that is yung Vmax. That is VC plus VM. Tama? So, VC plus yung VM natin. And we are asked to get the VC. Yung Vmin naman, paano na ako yung Vmin? That is equal to Vmin, that is uh, Vmax, minus twice of Vm. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, this is dalawang Vm yan. 
So, yung Vmax, pag minus natin yung dalawang Vm, we get the Vmin. Okay? So, Vmax minus 2 Vm. Okay? Let us get the Vm. Pag nakuha natin yung Vm, meron na tayong Vmax, given yun. Pag nakuha natin yung Vm, then we get the Vc. Okay? So, Vm is equal to Vmax. Okay? Minus V min, all right, all over 2, correct? Given yung V max, V max is 30 volts in peak, minus 10 volts in peak. So, makuha natin yung Vm and uh, all over 2, of course. So, this will be equal to what? This will be equal to 10 volts, all right? Okay, so 10 volts yan. Kuha na natin yung Vm. Makukuha na natin yung Vc. Kasi yung Vc natin, dito natin lagay. Yung Vc natin will be Vmax minus Vm. And given yung Vmax, that is 30 volts peak minus 10 volts peak. And makukuha na natin yung Vc. The Vc is actually 20 volts peak. Okay? So, the answer is uh, very obvious. The answer is letter letter B, 20 volts. Okay? So, madali lang, hindi ba? For SAT, amplitude modulation, napakadali nung tanong. Madali yung uh, solution. Madali siya kasi alam, alam nyo na yung concept niya. Kaya kailangan mag-aral talaga ng mabuti, magbasa ng maraming libro, at mag-practice ng problem solving. Okay? And sana makatulong sa inyo to. So, thank you for viewing. And again, I hope this will help you pass the board exam. Thank you very much.